Welcome everybody to Red G Fox. All right, today we are breaking down one of the favorite characters and the coolest cat in Sanford and Son history, and that is Nathaniel Taylor. He played Rado, Rado Lawson. Is that Rita Lawson's boy? <laughs> He played him, and so we're going to go through a brief summary about his personal life, this, his top three episodes, in my opinion, and probably most popular in Sanford and Son history, and then just another few fun facts about him. Before we hit that up, though, please be sure to go check our previous video that just got released, the top ten episodes of Sanford and Son history, based on a whole bunch of data put into it, including everything that I could think of, and I put it, let me know what you think of that list, a lot of work some good clips, some funny moments, share your thoughts on that, give a like, give a subscribe, and continue to grow, man. I love this channel, and we want to make it bigger weekly as we continue to push Sanford and Son, right? That's all this channel is, is dedicated to Red Fox and Sanford and Son. Anyways, let's get that out of the way, get to today's video, and that is Nathaniel Taylor. He was born in March 1938 in St. Louis, Missouri. Now, that will come into a factor on the whole history between him and Red Fox and how he even gets the part. Remember that. He passed away, sadly, in February 2019. I actually missed when he passed away. I, at the time, I remember in 2020 with COVID, I still thought he was he had alive, and then I found out that he had passed away. But sadly, 2019, of a heart attack, very exact same thing that Red Fox passed away from. So he, he suffered from heart attack and then died a few days later in the hospital. But enough with the sad stuff. Let's get back into what a great person, character, and a memorable person he was in Sanford and Son, which is why we all come to love uh, Rollo, Rollo, yeah, Rollo Lawson. He had two brothers and three sisters. His brother was Richard and Eugene. So once again, all these people, doesn't mean that it is, it does not mean it is set in stone, but a lot of these actors and actresses we've seen through the history when we go through them, they usually have big families. And like I said, acting is something where you get a way to draw attention to yourself. And maybe in these big families, you didn't get all the attention because you got so many siblings. It's just a reoccurring theme we've seen on a lot of these people we've broken down. Nathaniel, he was working as an electrician at the Performing Arts Society in Los Angeles. So that's, he had no, at this time, thoughts of getting into acting. I mean, it's something that he kind of liked, but it was kind of a side thing. But mostly for him, he had a, a normal everyday job like a lot of us do, and he's going out there. And one thing we've always seen with a lot of these two people we've talked about in the past, there's always someone in the background who either sees their talent or is a big inspiration to push them forward to, per, to go after that dream. And in this, it's no different with Nathaniel Taylor. His mentor, who was helping him working with his career as an electrician, his name was Larry Clark. He suggested, hey, why don't you try out? While they're there one day, they're having tryouts at this performing arts center. And they talked about, hey, why don't you go out there and read some lines? And he had practiced, Clark had practiced with Nathaniel Taylor reading lines, trying out, and then he said, go out there and do it, and he did for Red Fox. He was trying out for something that Red Fox was doing, most likely Sanford and Son, and when he did, he read lines that he'd been practicing, and Red really liked it. And then they started talking about both of their times in St. Louis, Missouri, and what it was like, and old stories, and they had a bond right there, and Red Fox said, you know what? I like you. I got a part for you. I got something for you. Stay in touch. We'll keep in touch, and that part turned out to be Rollo Lawson, and the rest is history, as they would say, right? It's so funny how the connection like that, how you find something where two people have something in common besides just acting, and then they share stories, and they and we've seen that because he also went on in Sanford. He also went on the Red Fox show. It's not a coincidence that Red Fox kept a lot of his friends around and doing continuous things. You're comfortable with it, and we saw that, and this is a perfect example. They didn't know each other then. They became each other, uh, friends right there. Talk about their old times. Now, he played Rollo Lawson from season two all the way to six. So he came in in season two. His debut was Have Gun, Will Sell. We just debuted that probably a couple weeks ago. Episode breakdown. Go check that out if you want to. We talk about a lot on uh, Rollo and Nathaniel Taylor at the end. And in that, he goes all the way to season six. So once he gets in the beginning of two, he got in at a good time, right? That's like buying stock early. You had Gregory, uh, Gregory Sierra and Nathaniel Taylor both coming in this hit show after season one. And now there are two. And Sierra led him to other better things when he went on and did acting forever. Uh, Nathaniel Taylor, it basically carried him through all six seasons. He was actually in the very last episode of Sanford and Son and did something that even uh, Lamont, Damon Wilson didn't do. He appeared in the later shows in Sanford as well. Top three appearances. 
This is just based on what I would think majority would like. Please share your comments below. What do you think is, is, is Rollo Lawson's best performance in it? Me, coming in number three, Lamont, is that you? And we know Lamont, is that you? That's when Lamont and Rollo are going out for a good time and everything would be bad. They went to a skin flick and, and Lamont's not loving it. And they go to this bar and they go inside and it turns out all the, all the sisters were brothers. That's what Lamont said. And it was called the Gay Blade. And when they're in there, Bubba accidentally sees them go in and he's like, holy smokes. He has to tell Fred. And then Fred and Bubba want to go check the place out and say, hey, you know what? Is Rollo and Lamont, or, you know? And so they go in and then Rollo catches him. And when he comes out, he's like, them two old dudes? Oh, no. And one of the best lines in that is when Rollo is talking with Lamont and he's like, and then Lamont's like, yeah, but Bubba's been married, you know, a couple times. He's had a couple wives. And Rollo goes, and you know what they say? If you can't hold a job, change your line of work. <laughs> change your line of work. Oh, I'll never forget that line. That is so good. That's his, in my opinion, third uh, best episode. Number two, that is Rated X. We just talked about our top 10 all time. Rated X is in there. I'm not going to tell you. I don't want to spoil it. Go check that list out. But Rated X is in there. And in that one, Rollo and Lamont want to go be actors, right? That's a big time for the, the black community to continue. They're getting pushed in movies. And wisely, Rollo and Lamont are like, hey, we can go do that. So they go try out for it. And Fred goes with them. And it turns out it's a nudie movie. And they're like, we don't want to be a no nudie. And it gets raided by the police. A little far-fetched, but still, they get raided, they get arrested, and when they're in there, my favorite part, right, Rollo, he knows what it's like in jail, but Fred sees it, he's like, where's the toilet? And Rollo's like, turn and point, you know, he's like, turn and go right there, and it's just a little toilet all out in the open, and Fred's like, I can't go out here like this, it's all in the open, Rollo's all, I hope you don't get too long a sentence. <laughs> it is so funny. Rollo is so good in that, and that is probably his second best episode, in my opinion. And then the number one has to be with Rollo is when he gets Fred Treasure Garden. It's ironic that Fred's not even in that episode. It's one of the favorites of everyone when you talk about season. I want to say that's season four, and Fred's not even in it. In this one, Fred had a garden going, and Grady's taking care of it, and it's got wild parsley, and now they think wild parsley is marijuana. But throughout that, there's too many lines to quote from Rollo. He gets some of the best lines. And and uh, we've had other people even say, you know what? They think maybe because Fred wasn't there, some of Fred's lines were taken because Rollo did a lot more humor in that one. And one of my favorites is when the two cops, Smitty and Hoppy, are eating salad and they think it's wild parsley. And they're like, man, uh, Hop Hoppy's like, it should be a crime to uh, have a salad this good. And Rollo's all, in most states it is. <laughs> it's so funny. So that is his number one. Those are his best three, in my opinion. Please share your favorite moments of Rollo in the comments below. Uh, do you agree or disagree? I always love the topics and to talk about it. It's so fun in our community, and I love hearing and learning. So anyways, those are his top three from Sanford and Son. Now, after that, he went on to do Sanford with, with uh, Dennis Berkeley, I believe, the, who played Cal. And that was a great series. I loved him. The episode you got to see from that is when they go to a, a club, a nightclub, to try to get Cal a girlfriend. And Rollo's there, and he is smooth. He's got girls all over, and he's making jokes with Fred. Anyways, that, that he went on to that. Then he also went on to do the Red Fox show. I felt like he was in more than two. It says he was only in two, but he did a couple in that show. That show had a whole bunch of messes, and it wasn't Nathaniel Taylor. So let's cover some of the other things he did, other shows he also was in. One of my all-time favorites, which I actually watched before Sanford, as you know if you're a fan of our channel here, it's What's Happening. He was in a couple episodes where he played uh, Rerun's brother-in-law. He married Rerun's sister, who was, um, was it Kim Fields? It was one of the Fields girls who were real popular in the 70s and 80s. But he was in that. I love him in that one. He's so grouchy and mean in that one. Red Fox show we talked about, Sanford. He also appeared in 227. And another one was Adam 12. He did other things. He even did a couple movies as well. But so he did get a shot. You know, he did get some movies. He did get other TV shows. But nothing was better than his time with Red Fox. Thank you, Mr. Fox, once again, bringing in a great actor who got to make a memorable role that will be etched in so many of our, our lives for the rest of our lives, you know, until the end, just like forever as it continues to go on. So last point on him. This is kind of weird. I didn't even know this until I actually did some research on this. In 1986, Nathaniel, along with his brother and a friend, were all arrested on burglary charges, of all things. And you're like, what? 
Nearly $200,000 in computers and typewriters were stolen from the Sports Connection Athletic Club. I guess they had taken it and then all of a sudden they'd notice the athletic club and notice, hey, we're missing about $200,000, a bunch of computers and other things, and they got arrested. So I guess he must have come in some hard times because you would think an actor who had did so many other things would have been okay. Maybe, hey, try out for the love boat, try out for murder, she wrote, try out for anything, get a better agent. But in the end, uh, everything worked out for him later on in life. He wasn't in jail long. So Nathaniel Taylor, Rollo, you got to say Rollo, and it brings a smile to all of our Sanford and Son faces. So I hope you learned something new about him. I hope you enjoy this show. Like I said, go back, look at our top 10 episodes. Get ready for episode breakdown. Every Tuesday we have one, including even through holidays. So have a great, what is this? This is Friday. Yeah, I don't even know what day. I've been on vacation. That's why I was able to film that top 10 episode. That took a lot of work. But I don't even know what day it is. But happy Friday. Have a great weekend. Be safe. And we'll see you on... No, no live shows this week. I'm thinking next Saturday I will promote it. We'll put it out there. We'll get an episode. We should have an episode live, uh, live show next week, not this weekend. So have a great safe weekend. And we'll see you guys Tuesday. Talk to you later. Peace. Mm -hmm.